Hey YouTube, so I don't want to give up my quest for the perfect skincare, and as it stands, I'm very, very happy with the treatments that I found. I feel like I have cleared up my skin. I have a lot of scarring that I'm going to continue to deal with by using this TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum from Drunk Elephant. We'll link this we'll link that video below. I really, really love this product. Uh, so I plan to continue using that, but now my skin is a little tiny bit dry, so I've been looking for a brand that would help me get some moisture back into my skin. And I ended up settling on doing Tatcha. So this is the Tatcha bestseller set. I did buy this with my own money. Uh, I have not done any Japanese skincare yet, and I kind of feel I've been missing out. I've done several French skincare brands, a ton of American brands, and what appeals to me about this is this is supposed to, from everything I gather, be a brand that is well suited to sensitive skin. This little booklet comes with a Art of Geisha Pure Skin card that tells you about everything in it. And then, it's such a cute little re reusable box, by the way. Uh, so this comes with the Camellia Cleansing Oil, the Polished Enzyme Powder, the Supple Cream, which is supposed to double as a primer, and then the almost infinite, infamous, at this point, uh, Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I also have travel sizes of the Water Cream, which I did anti-haul, so it'll be interesting to see if I eat my words. This is supposed to be for normal to oily skin. Uh, basically, I'm hoping that I just can reduce any future acne breakouts. And then I have the Violet C Radiance Mask, which also was very talked about on social media for a while. This is an anti-aging mask uh, for brightening. It'll be nice to have masking back in my life. I have not done any masking for an entire month, and I've truly missed it. Okay guys, you know the drill. I'll be back in two weeks, and I hope to have a little bit more hydration in my skin. I'll see you then. All right guys, I'm back. It's been two weeks of Tatcha. I kind of feel, I get the feeling that at this point, you guys know from seeing my face whether I'm going to have a positive or negative opinion on a brand. I mean, pictures really are worth a thousand words. And yeah, this is my bare face minus some mascara that you guys told me to buy that I'm now testing. Um, this is my bare face. It's been two weeks. I'm, I'm very pleased. Now you guys know the drill. I go into a brand as blindly as I can, which means all I really knew about this brand is that people either love or hate the Dewy Mist. I'll tell you why I suspect that is later on. Um, I knew about that. I knew the brand is pretty expensive, but well loved by a large number of people. And I knew that there's certain things I found about the brand to, in my personal opinion, to be a little bit petty, such as the whole suing Too Faced for their lipstick. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I want to be as transparent as possible. Yes, that was weighing on my opinions going into this brand. I was like, that's kind of petty, Tatcha. In the end, none of that matters because the products are solid. Now, I do have to tell you guys, I thought this was a Japanese brand, and it kind of is, but then it kind of isn't. The story of this brand is that a, um, a Japanese-American at Harvard Business School ended up going to Japan, met a geisha there, um, was impressed with the geisha's beauty routine, and made a brand based off of it. The products are made in Japan. Apparently, she works with Japanese scientists over there. Uh, and that's a big part of the claim of this brand, is that they're using Japanese herbs. Uh, I mean, herbs are herbs no matter where they come from. I guess what I'm saying is I think a lot of what this brand is, is really, really good marketing. Because yes, the, the products are a pleasure to use. They really are. It's a, it's a great ritualistic type of routine, and I'll talk more about that when I get into the cleansers. Uh, so, I mean, good job to the founder of this company of using your business degree to really make an entirely new line that is well-received. She did it. I can't, I can't fault her for that. So I am going to go through the products one by one. There's only one product out of the six that I tried that I... Mm, eh, I think it's a little gimmicky, but you guys already know which one that is. So let me jump in to the... Pure One-Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. Now this is part of a two-step routine. You use this first to remove all traces of makeup, and then you follow it with the polished Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. These together are incredible, incredible cleansers. But let me start with the Camellia Cleansing Oil. This product is oil and emulsifiers, much like every other cleansing oil that I've tried, including ones from Dermalogica and Caudalie. 
Uh, it retails for $48 for five ounces, which is a little bit on the pricey side, but all things considered, most oils are a little costly. I gotta say I loved it. I thought it did a really good job of removing my makeup. Now the second step in that routine is to use the Polish Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. So this retails for $65 for 2.1 ounces. That's my only gripe with this product. It is really expensive for what you get. Uh, it is rice based, it is propane, and basically the principle of this is it is a gentle scrub. You're supposed to mix it with water. It's one of those powder cleansers. You mix it with water, you apply it to your skin, you leave it on for about 30 seconds, and then you rinse it off. And I'm, uh, in all truth, in all truth, your skin feels incredibly clean, not overly drying. This, if anything, I've talked in other videos about being iffy on whether the double cleansing is really something that is necessary. If any brand has ever twisted my arm into thinking, yeah, it's necessary, it's Tatcha. Now, I do think the most striking aspect of using these two products in particular together is how ritualistic they feel. There's something extra special about Tatcha's very luxury packaging, which just makes this feel like a day at a spa. And other reviewers did mention this. This is definitely an appeal to the brand. The, the process of mixing it, feeling so fancy, there's something to be said for that. Now, is it necessary? I mean, no, it's not necessary. Is it enjoyable? Yes. Now, if you are interested in this brand, buying these two at full size is going to be over $100. I'm gonna tell you guys right now that even though I think the Camellia Cleansing Oil is less absurdly priced than the Polished Classic Enzyme Powder is, I do think the magic is actually in the powder. I really do. I think that it's formulated very intelligently to add that papaya in there, excuse me, not papaya, papain, um, that is really adding an extra layer of exfoliation. This is where the magic is. If you can only get one product from this line, this is actually what I would recommend. Um, the two together is very wonderful, very luxurious. If you can afford it, by all means, don't miss out. It's a very enjoyable brand to use. And in fact, you can't even buy these travel sizes. I believe it'll cost you around $35. So if you're at all interested, the travel sizes are available on their website. I guess that's part of the appeal with this, is it being TSA friendly, all of that. Overall, I really do have to say, if you're interested at all in the brand, start with the cleansers. Okay, let's chat about the infamous Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I gotta say, I'm on team, this is amazing. There's a very, very strong split in the way that people feel about this. I loved it. I loved it. It is formulated with hyaluronic acid as well as squalene. Actually, the first four ingredients are water, glycerin, squalene, and silicones, which right there, if that tells you anything, this is for dry skin. I think if you have oily skin, you probably won't like it much at all. And the main drawback to this, which has been mentioned by many, many people, is that it runs for $48 for 1.35 ounces. Tatcha. Baby, that is so expensive. I think one thing that has become frustrating for me personally, I can probably afford to splurge on a lot of these products, but at some point it becomes, why would I? And to be honest with you, this is, this is one of them. I'm gonna use this up, I'm gonna savor it. I haven't even mentioned yet, the spray on this is absolutely perfect. It's a real pleasure to use. However, that price tag is just so unnecessary. I love it. I'm not gonna buy it again. I understand why, especially if you're dry skinned, why you would. Let's go ahead and chat about the water cream next. This is Tatcha's moisturizer that is intended for oily skin. Now, this is the one that I had anti-hauled. I, I gotta stand by what I said originally. It's $68 for 1.7 ounces. And that can be understandable when you're talking about a moisturizer that is formulated for dry skin. Those often need a lot of more costly ingredients. If you already have oily skin, you really don't need to be adding in too much more costly ingredients. You have the more inexpensive skin type, if you will. Um, this has water as the very first ingredient, and then it has some so-called Japanese antioxidants, which are antioxidants. That's great. That's fine. Um, it also has gold in it, which is something that I always find gimmicky. There's, there's just no reason for it to be in there. Uh, and then finally, this does have alcohol as well as fragrance. I just think I, this one to me is not worth it. Bear in mind, I don't have oily skin. Bear that in mind. I thought it was okay when I used it. I thought it was 
actually more hydrating than I expected it to be, but did it blow my mind? No. Do I think it compares a lot to some Garnier, um, L'Oreal moisturizers for oily skin that I've tried? Yeah. <laughs> Up next, I have the Supple Moisture Rich Silk Cream. I bought this set over the summer. Somehow this has changed names since and dropped in price. That's nice. I'll give you that, Tatcha. Um, this is now called the Silk Cream. The ingredients list is the exact same. The difference is this used to retail for $150 for 1.86 ounces, and now it is $120 for 1.7 ounces. That is a step in the right direction, but in my personal opinion, while this is a very nice moisturizer for dry skin, it is still way, way too expensive. I can't really say there's anything phenomenal about this. It does have some fermented ingredients. It has antioxidants. Um, but I mean, I feel that it's very similar in its effect to the Estee Lauder Nutritious Moisturizer that I love, which is $65 for the same amount. Uh, this is just another one that I can't justify the price tag. I think it's pretty well formulated. It is in jar packaging, so take that however you will. It does also contain alcohol and fragrance. It's an almost undetectable fragrance. Hopefully I've mentioned that enough in this video. Uh, I mean, it's nice. It's just too expensive for me, and I, I certainly won't be purchasing it. And then the very last product is the Violet C Radiance Mask. I actually like this a lot more than I thought I would. This is $68 for 1.7 ounces. It is a very, very multitasking mask. This contains a stable form of vitamin C, um, fruit acids, mica, clay to draw out the oil. It's got the fermented ingredients as well. I liked it a lot. I think it's an amazing mask for doing everything all in one. Is the price tag high? Yeah, it is, but much like the cleansers, this is actually one where if you do have the money, you might as well splurge for it. You won't be disappointed. This this does a really good job of what it claims to do. Um, now, it being in jar packaging with a very stable form of vitamin C, I'm not that concerned about it. I think that it's not enough product to have to be concerned about it. If this was like a five ounce jar, then I would be concerned, but it's 1.7 ounces for the full size. I liked it. I really did. I was I was more impressed with this product than I thought it was going to be. All right, guys. So that is my review of the brand Tatcha. Overall, I really really enjoyed the products a lot. If the products had a lower price tag, I would recommend this across the board. As it stands, I recommend this for people who can't afford it. If you can't, the world's not going to crumble away. It's it's okay. But if you are thinking about dipping your toes into Tatcha. I would start with the cleansers. I think they are a great place to start. Get yourself the travel sizes. Get yourself a set like this if you can. This was actually a really great set. I'm very, very happy that I bought it. Um, I think it's a great brand. I just think it's expensive. I want to make a quick announcement at the end of this video. I will have some big news coming as far as my skincare videos. These are really interesting to me. I know I have a small handful of you guys that really enjoy watching these. These are my babies on this channel. This is where almost the the vast majority of research and work goes is into these little videos. Um, so I'm going to be doing more with them in a different way. I'll have an announcement coming up. Um, just, stick, just stick it out. I know a lot of you are waiting on several requests. I'm going to be trying to answer a lot of those in upcoming times. It's just, it's, see, I, these are a lot of research. A lot, hours and hours of research for every one of these videos. So I apologize for any delays. I'll answer all your questions. It's all coming. Um, so thanks so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a like, hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching guys. Peace out.